Greetings and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead and to Muckjester. In this episode, we are going to continue with our plans to make it from the town all the way down to our base, which is down here. Now, I've actually tried to record this once before. I made it to the base and I did a few things while I was there. I made some decisions, we worked on some stuff, moved things around. Things were going well. Then it crashed. Quite late into the recording, in fact, it crashed. But thankfully, Cataclysm is one of the sorts of roguelikes where it isn't constantly saving the game as you go. Well, I say thankfully. I could have done with it doing that. But there are plenty of instances where that sort of thing can actually lead you into having a save file which is effectively unusable. Cataclysm only saves the file when you save and quit. Or when you die. In this case, because it crashed, it reverted back to the initial point that the save file was at. Now, I'm fairly certain the crash was due to the NPCs. We had about four or five debug messages about NPC behavior before the crash. So, that's where my guess is. They're the people I am squarely placing the blame on. In this attempt, I have already gone ahead and reduced... Oh, no, I need to bring up options, I believe. Can I? No? Oh. Okay, never mind. I can't bring up the options. I thought I could. Or maybe it's in here. Uh, yes, it might be. No? No, it isn't. Ah. ah, well. In the options, I've gone ahead and I have disabled NPCs. Now, that doesn't seem to have removed the NPC from the map. So, we'll have to see about that one. We'll... Hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't go wrong. I think maybe the the problem happened because there were two NPCs on the map at the time. I'm not sure, though. But, uh, yes, let's just see how far we can go. Now, let's just make sure we've got everything we want. I think we do. Got some cooked meat. Have we got anything else? Uh, poppy flowers. Stone pot. Plastic bottles. Loads of medicines, which I'm going to start dropping off. And not carrying a million different things with me whenever I go on a raid. I'll, I'll probably take some painkillers, maybe some caffeine pills, possibly some cocaine for, oh my god, I'm about to die. I need to be able to move really, really, really quickly. Or be in a better mood when my end finally does come along and zombies are eating my guts. Uh, maybe I should take the methamphetamine for that reason, actually. Uh, but it looks like we've got everything. And uh, there's no time like the present, so let's go ahead and leave. I'll close the door behind us. Now, I'm not sure... Oh, there we are. The wolf spider's to the east, really? It's, we just came from the east. Oh, right. wow, he's right inside the door. Okay, let's hope it's not following us in that case. You can only imagine it isn't. Because we've gotten away. That is great news. Oh, wait. Southwest. Where are you, coyote? Now, coyotes can be a bit of a pain. For that reason, I'm going to go no. Oh, uh, no, he's got my scent. Okay, right. We need to fight this. Now, coyotes can be a little bit more dangerous, I've found, than cougars. So, well, actually, we're going to keep trying to leave it behind. But if it goes for... I think it's going to go for us. Our animal empathy might still kick in, and if I can get him to walk on the brush, it'll slow him down a lot. No, no, he, he doesn't really want to. He's not going to play my games. Very well, Coyote, I respect this. McJester respects an oppo opponent who is uh, committed to his path. I don't really. Well, I do respect it, but I, I just wish he wouldn't. Though... If you hang there the whole way... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was about to say, if you hang there the whole way, this should be okay. But no, the problem with that is that it's removing my ability to spot danger. Now, let's see. We've, we've got... We're going okay. I could maybe drink something. Uh, actually, let's have some of those caffeine pills. There, that's bumped our speed up quite a lot. The stimulants have given us an 8% speed boost. Yeah, okay. We should be able to put a little bit more distance between him and us. I'm hoping. Let's just make sure... Oh, there's a cougar now in front of us. 
Don't want to fight you both. Oh, this is this is bad times. Leave McJaster alone. He doesn't want to play. He wants to get home so he can have some tea. Damn it. Hmm. Let's have a look. What's on these things? I oh, know. Yeah, rock, goo canister. Ooh. Might be able to take that. Someone did mention that I should pick up these things. Actually, where's the teleporter? There we are, and a railgun. Hmm. Another screwdriver, safety glasses, medical gloves. Oh, this could be. I think we can drop the goo canister, and it would hurt these things. We'll try. We will try. Is there a glue canister here? No, yes. Oh, bum. Okay. Can I... Right, let's have a look at this goo canister and see how it works. It's not in weapons. Uh, it's not in other, either. So, where are you? Goo canister. Right. Warning. Contains highly toxic and corrosive materials. Content may be sentient. <laughs> Open it, you... <laughs> Content may have a will of its own and try to eat you. Very well. I think... Uh, do I activate it? I don't want to activate it. I'd probably try to drink it. Uh, throw. We want to throw it. Just a little bit ahead of you. There. I think. Fire! Boom. No. Okay. Did that not... I, I don't think it worked. <sighs> Okay, fine. I'll come back. Well, there's no way I can pick that up. That's like a turret. A hand tally, though. Have I missed that? I think I have. I think that was in the other pile. Damn. I bet it was. Yeah. Well, I can either go back for it or I can keep running. I'm going to keep running because if I can get McJester back to the camp. Oh, wow. Those things have slowed down. Oh, they're eating the human flesh. Ha ha! I was just sat there thinking, well, I, maybe I should come back and get this at some point because it'll be useful. But no, no, I don't need to come back and get it. Oh, wait, I'm running towards a cougar. What I do need to do is pay attention to where the hell I'm going. Let's, uh, cougar, really? Look, I've just got done fighting with one of your friends. I, that's right. Become uncertain because of my animal empathy. You can empathize with me not wanting to be eaten by a cougar. This is good. But my speed is slowing down, and that is not. Oh, well. Ah! Damn you, NPC. Where are you? Right, he's moved. He's teleported. They did this a lot. I'm going to keep playing, and just hope that he eventually teleports somewhere else, or teleports into a trap, or possibly giant vans appear to collect all of the plastic recyclables. How... And good of you, recyclable people. Damn it. Okay. I am going to uh, be right back. And we return. The recyclable collection people have left. Leaving us with a coyote. A cougar, I mean. Not a coyote. Oh, wait. Aha! I found you. Hmm... Now, I didn't get a chance to talk with these guys before because they kept hopping around so much. Logan Roberts. Logan, I'm going to try to talk to you with the coyote chasing us. Are, are you trying to kill that squirrel? Oh. Coyote, don't even. I will punch you to death. Can I talk to you? Yes. Ha ha. Another survivor? We should travel together. What are you doing? Get out of here or I'll kill you. <laughs> well, no. We're not going to do that. No, no. Uh, look at. Uh, they've really got nothing. Okay. Uh, care to trade? Have you got anything worth trading? Bon Appetit. What? What the hell is Bon Appetit? Uh, maybe a book? About cooking? Oh, I wouldn't mind that. I'll trade you some things. I've got to get 24. Uh, I'm not going to give you a steak now. Oh my lord, my gallon jug of water is worth $9,562? I... Wow. Clearly, the apocalypse is the place to be. For making money. I'll give him a poppy flower. There you go, Logan. Uh, yeah. I think that's, that's good. 
Um, enter finalize. Have I got that now? Yes, I do. There's a book. Fantastic. Thank you, Logan. W would you be a deer and kill this cougar for me? Ah, uh, that's excellent. You go, Logan. Enjoy. I'll, uh... Oh, I, f I kind of feel bad. Wow. Actually, I don't. Logan finished him off. It's probably because of uh, McJess's fantastic blow. He set that cougar on its path to destruction already. And we return, finally. Heroically, we are back. And at this point, because I kind of already have a, an idea of what I want to do, and that is... It's pretty dark down here usually. I know there's a fire going because the, the lower level wasn't loaded whilst we were on the upper level. So what I'm thinking of doing is gathering all the stuff I've got down here, all of the, the stuff that we work with, you know, our, our kind of day stuff, bring it up here, set up a, a work area, maybe rebuild a couple of benches eventually. But for now, we're just going to bring things up here and set up our little sort of living area on this floor. Eventually, when we actually want to make a bed, we'll be doing it down here. In the nice dark room. And maybe keep the uh, brassiere down here. I don't know. Probably not, actually. I think we'll have the brassiere up here for cooking. But eventually, when we've got something better, like a wood stove or something, we'll move the brassiere back down there. And that can be our little keep the basement warm thing for our bed. Made, you know, covered in wolf pelts and cougar hides that's right did you hear that cougars yes keep that in mind the next time you decide to mess with us you'll only be providing us with more bedding but on that note i am going to fade to black here and when you return i will have moved everything around so see you in a few minutes and welcome back i would I'd like to say that everything is now neat and orderly, uh, and, and really it is. It just happens to look like some sort of comical clown's tent of a house now. But trust me, things are in their proper place. There is an order to this chaos you see before you. I will walk you through it. Up in the top left, we have our construction materials. Things to use to build houses or, or mechanics, that sort of thing. We've got uh, pipes, sheet metal. All of our tools that, that are specifically for construction, like the hammers, the screwdrivers, that sort of thing. Duct tape, nails, 2 by 4s Everything is in its proper place. We even have the spray cans up here. Over here, this is our little sort of bookery nook, if you like. It's not really a nook, but I, I like to think it will be one day when we build some counters. There's some books here right next to the computer terminal, which will allow us to read by night. It illuminates the room a little bit. We've got our reading glasses and some sunglasses as well, just in case that glare from the screen is a little bit too much. And we've got our clothes for sleeping in when we want to be warm. Now, in the bottom left, by the broken computer, which we will eventually take apart, I might even try that in a moment, we have batteries, electronics, science ID cards, purifier, glow sticks, because, you know, glow sticks have a place in science supplies. Scientists are well-known party animals and soldering iron and things like that we also have the gun casings and the guns down here because i imagine i'm going to take them apart eventually i jester is not a man who believes in using guns he he believes in the honor of the samurai as was taught to him by his karate man uh, okay i don't really think the samurai were practiced in karate especially uh, but he has taken on a uh, way of the warrior of his own and does not believe in using firearms he might stoop as low as to use a bow perhaps but uh, not a gun that just gives him too much of an advantage and he needs to feel that he defeated his opponents in a sportsmanlike way now here we have our tailoring supplies up there we've got rags here we've got leather and chitin as well is down here because i don't really know where else to put that got our sewing kits and scissors and also threads and things like that there and in the bottom left we have basically all of our comestibles now this includes the poppy um, seeds and things like that at the moment also here we have our drugs the cigarettes cocaine and methamphetamine we have first aid and bandages and basically all of the other pills that we've got over here we've got our various gallon jugs of 
non-clean water, ammonia, uh, I think these are empty flasks, which we can use as plastic bottles in the same way they can contain things, even though they once contained mutagenic materials of dubious origin. Got empty plastic bottles, we've got our tea and coffee making supplies, salt, which we will use to salt some meat eventually, uh, potato chips, which we may norm on soon, aluminium can of colas, or rather cans of cola, basically our cans. We've also got all of the other plastic bottles which contain drinkable things like orange juice and clean water. Um, and up here we've got vodka, and that'll be our liquor supply. And then here we've got matchbox lighters, things which we might use for cooking, and cooking supplies. Now, I've I've been struggling with the idea of whether to bring the brazier up here or not. It says that the brazier shouldn't allow th fire to spread, but I don't know. I'm I'm just dubious. I much prefer to have like a rock floor under it than a regular floor. I'm not sure if if there's really a difference, other than. I'm assuming that a regular floor is like made of wood. I, I don't know why, but like wooden planks, or, or maybe it's made of metal, in which case I'm really worrying about nothing. But uh, perhaps someone in the comments can let me know. But for the moment, I'm going to err on the side of caution, as I'm known to do, and I'm going to leave the brazier downstairs, along with some splintered wood and some bones, because I think we can burn bones. I'm not sure, though. But now is time. You can see what I'm going to do. You know it is time. We have to do this, and we have to do it now. Jester has waited long enough for this. Uh, we're going to need a pot as well. <sighs> for a moment, Jester even started to wonder if he was civilized anymore, if there was any hope for this world. But that is all about to fade. Those concerns are about to be washed away by the glorious tannin of tea. There we go. Brown in motion. Ah, look at this nice, nice little well lit fire. Have we got meat on us? Yes. We're going to eat a meal and have some tea with our dinner. Jess has been waiting a long time for this. Now, let's go ahead and make some tea. And we're going to pour this into a plastic bottle. I know it's a plastic bottle. And this does kind of damage Jess's immersion. He, he can't quite forget that he's in the apocalypse having to drink tea from a plastic bottle. But we really don't have any other options. We've got glass flasks. I know they're clean because we licked every single drop of that mutagen out of them, but he knows where they were, he knows what they were used for, and putting tea into those things just seems wrong. A last resort, maybe, but not, not when we have other options like plastic bottles that have only contained water, or at worst, orange juice. The gallon jugs, yeah, a gallon jug of tea, that seems a little bit excessive. If we got some more tea leaves, maybe. But, uh, yeah, for now, we've got a plastic bottle of tea. And we're going to fill it up, because I think these things can contain two. There we go. We now have a plastic bottle of tea. And we've only got three tea bags of tea leaves left. That's that's not good at all. But we're going we're gonna to ration this tea and let us eat that tasted nice let us drink select and you know what this is the sole reason I reloaded this mp3 player yes let's just sit back and forget that we are in the apocalyptic wasteland of the future we're happy we're listening to music. We've just enjoyed tea, and wow, did that give us a lot of morale. Not that I'm surprised, but wow. We got 16 from eating cooked meat, 5 from eating a hot meal, and 12 from eating, uh, from, well, eat, uh, drinking tea. That's pretty high up there. We've got a morale of 34. That's awesome. We're just going to wait a little time. Dramatic classical music. I was hoping this would be it. What better way to sit back and enjoy an apoc apocalyptic meal than by eating a meal made of apocalyptic animals and drinking tea from a plastic bottle. <sighs> I'm just going to let some time pass. This is, this, is, this is good. More classical music. Yeah. Yeah, this is 
Good times. Probably listen to the Blue Danube. Oh no, got some pumping pigs. That, that's a sign that this needs to go off. It's going to ruin the mood. You had your chance, MP3 player. And you've wasted it. But we got 21 morale out of that. Wow. I, I don't actually think this character can do any better than this. This, this is pretty much it. He has reached his peak. If Jester were to die now, I think he'd die happy. But uh, we don't really want him to die. We've got other plans, Jester. And you can now carry that tea around. I know when it cools... And this is something that a couple of people don't realise. Iced tea and cold tea are two very, very different things. Cold tea, palatable to some, not to others. I can drink it. I don't particularly like to, especially if it's got milk in it. I can drink cold black tea. That's fine. Cold milky tea mm, that's i will drink it rather than waste the tea because you know it's the law in britain you can get arrested for wasting tea i'm not joking trust me if you come over here waste tea yeah you're going in the slammer right now what are we going to do we have got let me check my skills i think we may have enough to make have we got enough to make a shovel yet can we? Yes, we can. We can make a stone shovel. We need two strings of six inches. Can I make six inch string? Damn it. I think I've got three foot string, unfortunately. I don't know. We'll have to check. But I'm going to need, I believe, a hammer. Uh, we need, yeah, a stone hammer, a heavy stick, a rock. Two strings. Have I got rocks? Yeah, I've got rocks over there. Okay. Now, what kind of strings have I got? Damn. Unfortunately, we've got a little bit too much. I can use all of this thread to make the string I need, but... Damn. I wish there were a way to turn that string back. But it doesn't appear there is. Okay. We'll try that again. Please work. Yes. Okay. Now I need a heavy stick. Okay. Let's uh, swap to karate. Open the door. I should have had a proper look first. And I'm going to peek this time. So, now I choose which square I want to peek from. I want to peek from up. Now, this is technically only taking one turn. Like, I can now move around my view and have a proper look out here. And this is all considered one move. And when I'm done with this, it'll move me back. And again, that will still be considered one move. Oh, there are some bodies up there. Hmm, we might be able to get some more meat. That would be good. And a deer. Okay. There. See? It's moved me back. So, we need the butcher knife. Have I got it on me? Yeah, we've got the steak knife on me. Okay. Good, good. Yeah. Let's go do this then. Close that behind me. Now, there's a deer. Um, hmm. What have I spotted? Is the dog considered a monster? Well, maybe it is. No, it doesn't look like it anymore. Okay. Uh, web spider, leave me alone. A web spider I'm not too worried about. Muck would probably be able to destroy a web spider. Oh, wow. A rabbit as well. Jess is going to be eating well tonight. Squirrel, I have no idea what a squirrel corpse tastes like. Well, a s squirrel meat, I should say. But a uh, rabbit, yeah. Not too bad. I mean, I kind of ate so much of it when I was a kid that I grew sick of it. But uh, as an adult, uh, I've regained a taste for it. Now, I'm fairly sure that if I had a shovel, I'd be able to dig these up. And this metal, it may be useful. So metal wreckage. I don't know if I would be able to just clear it or I'd get something back. I'm hoping I'd get something back. Now, can I kill this deer? Can you do it, McJester? Pow! Oh. No. Okay, whacked it for 11 damage. Come here, dear. I want you to die. You must die, dear. I'm probably really... I probably still have all of this burden on me, don't I? I'm a derp. I should have taken off the raincoat and other things. I missed my chance. Gotcha. I missed. And I missed again. And again. Oh, finally. Come here. Come here and die like a deer. I bet it'll tell me it's a buck as well. 
Yeah, it is a large buck. I don't know what the developers think deers do, if they've ever lived in a country that has wild deer, but I promise you, if you walked up to a buck and started pelting it in the side, it would be doing something very different from running away from you. And you'd probably be doing something very different from chasing it. Moments after your side was torn open by its enormous antlers. Come back here! Alright, this is... this is... Silly. I may just give up, but it's heavily injured. You're gonna, you're gonna encourage me to chase you around, aren't you? And you lead me into some sort of deadly situation. Oh wait, balls! I'm wielding a heavy stick. No wonder McJaster isn't doing well. I'm sorry, McJaster. I'm a derp. Entirely my own fault. There we go. We're getting some proper hits now. Come back here, dear. Don't lead me to any some crazy monsters. And I have to walk over that bush, didn't I? Oh, ah, we still missed. There we go. Oh. Yes, it's stunned. Fantastic. And now it's dead. There we go. Let's just butcher you. Have some bones and some meat. Fantastic. We'll just take the... Oh, there's not that, actually that much meat. I was expecting a bit more. Oh, well, we'll take all of the bones as well. They might be useful for starting fires. Or rather, keeping fires going, more to the point. And let's just drop these corpses, because, you know, butchering corpses in our place of residence, not particularly civilized. And we're butchering all the meat. Damn. Uh, not butchering, we're wasting it. But that may have increased our survival a bit. Yeah, we're 60% towards the next level. That's not too bad. And I believe at level 3, we get an axe. How awesome would that be? Now, we've got some meat on us. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's, let's get some jerky. So, we'll take that. I think we can cook in the pot. Uh, I think that's all we're going to need. But first, before we go any further, let's go ahead and make ourselves a stone shovel. Wish us luck gonna work it's gonna work yes haha -ha! we have a stone shovel oh joyous day with that we should be able to do quite a lot of things namely improve our pits but that will be something I'll do off camera I imagine now let's just come back down here I would like to make some beef jerky now well actually let's have a cook look right, cooked meat is a nutrition of 50 and an enjoyability of 8. Freshly cooked meat, very nutritious. And beef jerky, salty dried meat that never goes bad, but will make you thirsty. You enjoy it, and it will have some nutrition, but it'll also make you thirsty. Mm. We'll make one beef jerky, I think. Oh, we failed, and the fire went out. Well, that's just great. Let's see if we can actually drop bones here. Where are you, bones? We'll drop them all. Then apply our lighter to the bone pile. Oh. I guess bones don't actually burn. Well, at least. I'll drop them all here then. Though I might want to move those somewhere else. But we'll... Uh, Go ahead and just try to make uh, get some cooked food for McJester. Uh, we want that lit. And let's go ahead and cook this meat. We make that pretty quickly. And that one. And can we try and salt? Oh, we must have wasted the other cooked meat we had. Damn, that's a shame. But oh well, that's not too bad. McJester has uh, made it back home in this episode. And uh, yeah, things are going well. I'll just drop off the tools that we've, we've been carrying around. We don't need this. And this plastic bottle can go in the plastic bottle pile. Now we've got quite a lot of drink here. So I'm not going to worry about converting the water just yet. But what I'll do off screen 
is go ahead and improve those pits, dig them down a bit. In fact, maybe I'll just do it once on screen so you see what it's like. Make sure I'm not carrying anything else I don't want to be. I don't want the salt. We'll drop that off. And we'll also drop off the tea leaves. Okay, let's go and just have a quick look. Is there anything out here? No? Okay. Right, apply. Shovel. Where are you? Oh, I haven't picked it up. Damn it, shovel. Probably over here. Yes, there we are. Okay. Should now have a stone shovel. Capital M. Apply M in this direction. No! You fool. At least I didn't just kill myself, because if that was a deep pit, I probably would have. I should have read the message first. Oh dear. Right, we can dig it down one more stage. Stage one only requires a shovel, a stone shovel, or a digging stick, but stage two requires a, a shovel or a stone shovel. There we are. Now it looks different, and if we have a look at it, make sure I'm in looking around, this is a pit. Not a shallow pit. Movement cost 500. Hmm. Can I do it again? Well, I guess not, but uh, I'll go ahead and upgrade all of the other pits around the enclosure, or around the evac shelter, rather. And possibly in the future, we'll go ahead and upgrade them to spike pits so that we can hopefully anything chasing us and wandering around outside will kill itself. But that's all for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. I know McJester has with his dinner, fine music, and a bottle of tea. And we shall leave him here pondering what next to do. But until then, do take care.